squad today, you know Kanye back under the under the under the fire. So uh let's get into it because it's trending. So today we're going to we going to do how to use Photoshop 101, how to make a yee shirt, a yay shirt. So we got the template and the link if you don't have this template will be in the description. So these are the, the pictures that we're going to use in this uh, artwork. We're going to use this Kanye picture, this Kanye picture. We're going to use the background. We're going to use this shoe, the Yeezy logo, and a grunge, a grunge PNG. So just to give you the quickness on how to uh, go find these. You'll just type in Grunge PNG for this one. And when you're looking for pictures, you always want to come to Images, Tools, and then go down here to Large. And then you'll get like the biggest pictures that they got on there. And for, let's go back. So let's type in Kanye on stage for one of them pictures. You always come down here to Tools, Size, large and then I think we found like him squatting down so it's like this picture you just drag it what I do is drag and drop because I'm working on a photo on a, a Mac if you have a PC you could just save and then right click then import it, and then we this one of the pictures, so I can delete that one. For one of the other pictures, the background, I typed in white and black wallpaper. And you could just find that background or any background. Any of them will work. And then for I typed in a picture of Kanye West and then went and found this picture. So now we got all the pictures. Let's dive right in. I also went typed in Yeezy logo. And then you just type in Yeezy logo, you will find this. You just bring this in. So now I'm going to select my move tool, which is one of my main tools on here, and that's to grab stuff and move stuff around and also resize images. So each one of these, when you bring your images in, is going to create a tab. So let's click on the first one. So this is what we're working on today. I can delete this. I don't need that anymore. Do not save. Hurry, hurry up. Okay. So let's go to the background first so we can get a kind of view on what we're trying to do in a base. So what I'm going to do is I got my move tool. I'm going to come in name. I'm going to come over here, unlock it. You go, come to the where it says layer zero, you double left click. Now you name this background. Let's just name all of them. Kanye, let's name him. Turn the lock off. Double left click where it says layer zero. Let's say performing. Come to the third one. Oh, we got background. What's this? It just come over here to the lock, unlock it, double left click, yay. Come to this one. This is a Yeezy Boost. Unlock with your left click, double left click on this. Uh, shoe. Come to the next one. This is a logo. Unlock. If it don't unlock. Sometimes the, the, the file that it's saved in or the, the color mode is off, so it's on index color. So change this to RGB color, and then it took the lock off for us. So now you want to double left click on there and name this logo. Come to the next one. I'm going to name this uh, Paint Splash. Okay, let's get it cracking. So now we're going to take Yay right here. 
we're gonna drag we're gonna I'm holding left click when you want to grab something you hold left click I still got left click I'm gonna come over here on my shirt and I, I, I'm gonna let left click go now I can put Kanye wherever I want okay we're gonna bring all the images in and then we're gonna start to get it popping okay we got that one let's go here we got Kanye we're gonna hold left click drag them over here let go go to the next one do we got the background already nope grab left click hold it hold it hold it let go boom and I also after you bring these images in you can delete them so I can push X go ask me do I want to save it no I already got this one do I want to save it no this one X no so now we come to the next one which should be the logo drag this one hold left click hold left click let go come back here to the shoe hold down left click let it go and then we're gonna come to the last one which is the grunge or paint splash and come to the shirt and let go Okay, now I can delete all the rest of these because we got all of our pieces to the puzzle. Okay, okay, so now if you got the Photoshop subscription, they have a new tool on here. Let me delete it. So we come here, we come here, we spread these out with my move tool. With the move tool, I'm talking about my move tool. So I got it right here. This is how you, if you come to the centers, I only stretch from the centers. So you can stretch down and make bigger and smaller. Or, and every time you make a move, like resizing or something, you're going to see this check at the top. Always check that to let the computer know that you're done with that uh, assignment that you just gave to the uh, computer. And then you come in the middle of this, you can move it. Okay, so we're gonna move this here. And we named them layers when we first brought all these in, because look, these are your layers. So we click on this one, you see it say ye. We turn that eyeball off, he disappeared. This is our background. We turn that off, so this is how you control your layers. Photoshop is all about layers. So this is our logo, turn that off. Shoe, turn that off. Paint splash, turn that off. So let's start with the background. So we turn the background back on. So we click on it. And if you don't see a box around your uh, artwork, you always wanna come up here to auto select and show transform controls. If you turn these off, you don't know what, you tur what you're working on. It don't give, it don't give you no indication of what you're working on. You only have to click on it over here and it lets you know what layer you're working on. But when you turn these on, whatever you click on, it will give you the indication that you're on that layer and you could just work it like that. So let's just stretch this out. And sometimes when you stretch stuff out, you're gonna, it's gonna look pixelated. And when, once you hit the check button, it'll clear right on up. So now, what happened to my t-shirt template? Anytime you come over here, these are your layers. And it all goes like stacking stuff in front and pulling stuff to the back. So right now you see my t-shirt template is all the way at the bottom. So this background layer is on top of this. I need to move this layer. I clicked on this layer, which is my t-shirt layer. I'm going to come all the way over here to where you no know words or nothing that. Hold down left click and drag it. See how I turned to a fist? Drag it up to the top and let go. Now my background is behind the t-shirt template. And once you move it up to the top, you click on here and just lock it. So now that your t-shirt template is locked at the top. Okay, boom. Okay, let's go to performing. So we just turned that performer and Kanye back on. He should pop up any minute now. 
Oh, he's behind the, the background, so let's bring him to the front. Okay, we got him. So we, I, I got the move tool selected. Let's stretch this out a little bigger. So now, like I said, if you guys got the um, paying for the Photoshop subscription, you just come over here, push that, and it gives you some discover. You, it brings up the discover tab, which have removed background. It's something new that they added to Photoshop. And you push on it, and it cut the pictures out for you. How cool is that? So you just let it do what it do. Boom. So now, I'm going to close that out. You see it left a little bit right here. And so I'm going to come to the third tool, which is a lasso. And you hold it down. And you go to the middle one, poly, poly, the poly lasso. So this tool moves straight. You push it. Now activate it, and then it moves up and down, left and right. But in order to go left and right, you have to push left click, and then you can change the pivot. And whatever shape you want to make, when you double left click, it connects it and makes the marching ants. Whatever in the marching ants will delete. So if I hit delete right now, it deleted everything that was inside the marching ants. So now I'm going to come around this. Left click, left click, left click, change the direction, double left click. Delete. I'm going to get rid of that. So now we got Kanye right there. I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. A lot of bit smaller. Boom. Now let's turn on the, the shoe. So we got the shoe right here. Let's blow this up. I still have my move tool. The main tool right here that just what you stretch from the middle or the bottom middle. I don't stretch from the corner. Sometimes it can get tricky. So now we're going to bring this in. We're going to go right back over here. And then we're going to delete this background. And the computer want to act up when I'm trying to show you guys something. So let's go a different route. We're going to come over here to one, two, three, four, the fourth one down, which is the magic wand. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and I'm going to click on the white. So now you see my marching ants is around. It's going all the way around the black and, and it's on the white. So now when I hit delete, it's going to get rid of all that white for me. So now I'm going to put this right here. Okay, boom. Guess what now? I'm going to grab my eraser tool, which is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, the 13th one down. As soon as it get done over here. Or you push the E for shortcut. So I'm pushing eraser. If you hold on eraser, it's the top tool. So now it's going to give you this circle. If you don't see a circle, maybe you got the caps lock on. And then it's going to look like this. You don't definitely want to use it like this, so it don't show you the like diameter of your circle, so or the perimeter. So hit caps lock. Now you see your circle, and I can right click, and when I right click, I can make the size of the circle big as I want it. And I always have my hardness on 13. So now let's make it a little bigger. this circle a little bigger. I'm going to right click, open it back up, stretch this over a little bit so my circle is bigger. Boom. So now I'm going to erase. It's like you fade. If you was a barber, you'd be cutting somebody's head with the fade, with the blend. And you see over here, I'm on the, I'm on, I'm on the shoe layer. So now I faded it right there. So I'm going to bring this down some, and then I'm going to come over here to shoe, right click, duplicate. 
Then it's going to ask me, duplicate layer, shoe copy, yes. So now what I got two shoes. I bring one over here, come over here to edit, come down to transform, and I want to flip horizontal. Boom. So now I got two shoes, a pair. So now I'll click on Kanye, and he seems like he's under shoes, so I'm going to drag him on top of both of the shoes and let go. So now he should be popped out in front of them. Boom. So now let's go to the logo. Turn the logo on. And the logo is right here. So we're going to stretch it and make it bigger. And we're going to bring it down. What we gonna do now? We can't even see the color of it. Okay, so we on the logo. We come over here to your right hand side. Don't click over here where the uh, letters is at. You come over here where ain't nothing at. Double left click. When you double left click over there, it brings up your layer styles. So whenever you want to change the color of something, you can come down here to color overlay. Click on that. Want to bring this up to normal. And now you click in this square, and now you can change it to whatever color you want. Hit OK. Make sure your opacity is all the way up. That's why I wasn't red. So now that's up. And this is the blending mode is on normal. So now we got the red Yeezy showing. And while we're in here, we need to make this Yeezy pop off a little bit more. So you come down to drop shadow. And the drop shadow is just what it sounds like. It, it makes stuff pop off and add a shadow to it. So you see as when I turned it on, the difference made it pop off. And when you come up to stroke, a stroke is nothing but an outline. So I clicked on that. Make sure it's on color. And then I click in this box. We're going to change this to white. And you, you got size up here. You can make this 9, 10, 11, whatever. Whatever makes you feel good or make whatever makes it look good. So now we're going to move this easy down a little bit with the move tool. Boom, what's left? We got one more layer on here, which is a paint splash. Cut that on. I'm going to click on it with the move tool. Come to the middle one, stretch out. Hit check for OK. Quick trick, come down here to your eraser. Come down to the magic eraser tool. Click on that and click right on the white. It gets right. Rid of right of the, I mean, gets rid of the white, or if I click on black, it'll get rid of the black also. So we're gonna click on that. So now we got a little white in there that we didn't get out. I'm gonna come back over here, but nothing's at on this paint splash layer. Double left click, do another color overlay. We're gonna change this to same red under the on the that's on the Yeezy. Let me go back one time because I, I went too fast. Paint splash, come over here with nothing's at. Double left click, color overlay. Now, you see when I click the color overlay, the default was black. I'm going to click in this, and when you click on that, you get these colors right here. When you come outside this color picker, like over here, you see the drip, the, the dropper. The dropper is for you to sample colors. So if you don't if you don't know how to get that exact color you want to hear, you come down to something in the artwork. So if I want that gray, I click on that gray. I want this same red in here. I clicked on that. Okay. Okay. Come back, get my move tool so I can move this. Put it under the arm. And what I want to do with this, I'm going to come in this. Duplicate layer. Enter. Now I got two of those. I'm gonna drag this one over here. Come up to edit. Transform. Flip horizontal. Bring that over here under this armpit. Boom. Okay. We get we missing one picture. We missing one picture. Performing shoe ye. Okay, the last one. To put the cherry on top. So this, this paint splash is in front of the shoe. I need to put that behind the shoe. So I'm gonna drag that down behind this shoe. And that should 
No, I need to bring it up front of that one. Okay, bring it over here, get it out the way. So now we got Yi at the bottom. We can't see him because he's hanging behind the background. Move him above the background, let go. There you go. He's still behind the shoes. We need to bring him up again in front of the shoes. So we're going to hold down left click, drag him up. Boom. Okay. So now we click over here and that gives us the discover and up. Uh, remove background tool, hit apply. It's going to get out that background for us. See, this doing them. Now nah, we ready to go. I'm going to move this down a tad. Move Kanye, perform it down a tad. We got Kanye in the middle. I'm going to make him a little smaller. I'm going to check it to let the computer know that we're done with that. Get rid of this. I'm about to go back to the E. E push E for shortcut for eraser. Or you come over here to eraser. Go to the top one. Now we got our circle back. I'm going to make our circle a little smaller. You can right click and move this to make it smaller or bigger. The top one. This, the second one is your hardness. That's how good you blend. So I love 13. So now we're going to click off. We got Yay selected. If you turn the eyeball off, he disappear. Bring him back. Fade. 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 So now if somebody had a, these shoes without a shirt to match, you just made it. And I'm going to show you the shoes that I used before. For this shirt, let's type in black and gray Yeezys. So let's So this was the picture that I used when I designed this shirt before. I'm going to drag this one on, let go. I'm going to drag this over. Holding left click, let go, let go left click right now. And it's going to drop it on there. And you might, guys might like this one better. So I got my move tool and I'm going to stretch this one out. Hit check, then it should clear that picture up for me. Then I'm gonna get my eraser. Right click, make the eraser a little bit bigger. Now fade. And what should I do? I should turn both of these shoes off, the red ones. That's a shoe, and that's a shoe. That's in a little bit. Bring that in a little bit. Now I'm going to come on this one. Rename this one because I didn't. Black and gray or 350s. Enter. Come over here. Right click. Duplicate. Okay. Drag it over. We're going to come over here to edit. Transform. Flip horizontal. Boom, got our Yeezy shirt. Come down here, get the eraser again. Fade it up. I'm on the wrong layer. See, I'm on a paint splash layer, erasing. Let me put that back. So I need to be on this layer on an extra shoe copy. Erase it. And then come on this one and get rid of that. So now I come back to my move tool. Under the armpit. 
under the armpit. Custom Yeezy shirt, y'all. It's easy, easily going for sale. Got Yay on there and the 350s. Let's go. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. We teaching everybody how to make money. Everybody how to design. It's all about imagination on this page. We just made a custom Yeezy shirt design. And within, I don't even know how many minutes it was, but it was pretty fast. See y'all next time on the next go-around. Holla.